More than 150,000 American women served in the Women's Army Corps during World War II, despite both the Army and the American public having trouble accepting women in uniform, they certainly made their mark on the most violent war in history. Britta Miller was one of them. Like most of those who served in World War II, Britta Miller just wanted to do her part. I was adventurous, I guess. So after Pearl Harbor, she joined the newly formed Women's Army Corps, or WAC for short. I was at Camp Atterbury, then I was in California briefly, kind of passed through and I was in New Guinea for a while. As a woman in war, there wasn't much of an option when it came to the work that Britta could do. While many became nurses, thousands more took office in clerical jobs, freeing up the men so they could head to the front lines. Oh, I typed, filed, and I worked in a library. That was my favorite job. And right alongside Britta, German prisoners of war. They were prisoners, but they had these jobs They'd come in and clean the offices and clean the library. Britta says they were encouraged to ignore the prisoners, not to speak to them, but there was never a time she felt scared. And when Britta finally went home, she married her high school sweetheart, who'd been serving as a mechanic in the Air Force. They both went on to college on the GI Bill. For her service, Britta earned a World War II victory ribbon and an overseas service ribbon. And today, says she hopes more women will feel the sense of adventure that she felt and wear their own dog tags proudly. It's a position no soldier wants to be in, imprisoned by the